Yo, what's up guys, my name is Herochow and welcome to a new video. Whenever you look at a different player, the first thing you'll notice is the title next to their name. Now, there are many different titles and a lot of them can be earned in Priftiness. And this is what this video is going to be all about. We will be going over all the Priftiness titles. So the first ones we will be going over are the clan titles itself. So the first clan we will be going over is the Trahern. And yes, my pronunciation sucks. <laughs> Anyways, for this clan title you will need to mine 100 corrupted ore. It is quite a task, but it's pretty easily done. And right after you mine number 100 you will get a note in chat, which will say you have unlocked the title. The second of 8 clan we are going over is Ioworth, for which you will need to complete 8 Dark Beast tasks assigned by Movran. Now this can be a bit of a hassle because it doesn't always assign Dark Beast, obviously. I myself have not been lucky enough to get eight of these tasks so I cannot show you the actual receiving of the title. The third clan I will go over is the Cadern clan which will require you to defeat 1000 Cadern rangers or magi in combat. And while this task isn't very difficult it is very long. At least at the end of it all you will have a title to show for it. As for the fourth clan, the Kris, you will actually need to grow an elder tree. So this is not a very difficult task to do but it does have high requirements. This means for me unfortunately that the requirements are a bit too high. If you are able to do it, just check the health of your elder tree and the title will be yours. As for the fifth clan, the Amlot clan, you will have to summon a light creature familiar and you will have to use an enlightenment scroll. This of course being the special attack of this creature. After you have done this, the only thing you have to do is talk to Lord Amlot. Number 6 of 8, the Ithil clan. This is the clan which has the crystal flaked sandstone mine. This sandstone mine will give you 50 sandstone each day which will result in 50 crystal flask each day. So this does mean this title requires you to do this for 2 days. And then we have reached number 7, the Heffen clan. For this clan you will have to complete 200 laps on the Heffen agility course. And to be fair, 200 laps really isn't that much. And that brings us to the final clan title. This is the Melir clan and it requires you to harvest 50 harmony moss from the harmony pillars. This means you will have to complete about 20 of these pillars, which takes a lot of time. Once you have done all this, or, or not done, just as I have skipped a few, you will be able to go on for the elven title, for which you will have to purchase all 8 elven clan capes. It's really easily done, but it does cost you 8 million. All you have to do is go on a lap on the inner circle and buy a cape from each of the vendors. Now the next few are gonna be really really random, so yeah. First off we have the Dark Elf title. This one took me really really long because I didn't get the message in the chat, so I didn't really know that I got the title already. So usually when you are wearing an Ioworth cape and you equip a weapon, there should be an attack option on Saren. This for me did not happen. Apparently, if that does not happen, you will have to use a weapon on Saren. For some odd reason, I did not get the message in the chat, but I definitely did get the title. And next up is of the Tardiad. You have no special requirements for this title, but it is definitely a bit of a hassle to grab them. You have to go to all 8 clan leaders and talk about their clan. It's not difficult or anything, it's just a bit of a search, that's all. And next up is the title of the Naragi, for which you will only have to plant a crystal acorn. Which really sounds easy, but you do have to have the skill though. I bet you guys can guess where I am lacking. And there are still many more to get. Next up is the Lord of the Way title. All you have to do for this one is go to Saren, wear your half and cape and just rest. And now it's time for a random one, the Mourner. For this one you will simply have to equip your full Mourner gear and talk to Lady Ithil. She will make fun of your appearance and actually give you the title. Two other random ones are the Fractured and the Corrupted, for which you will have to, resp which you will have to show the Saren respectively a Divine Energy, any of them except Elder, and the Corrupted Ore. Two titles that actually look pretty good. And there is another one which you can get by showing the Saren something. Grab yourself a Bacon Mound, a Chocolate Bar and a Bread, put them in your inventory and show her the Bacon Mound. This will give you the title The Elfborn, which will actually spawn Mod Elfborn and he will say random stuff to you. The further we go, the more crazy these things will get. As for this one, the Stupendous, you'll have to make an uncooked stew with cooked meat or chicken while actually wielding a mod pie in Priftiness. 
a chat log from Mods2 will pop up saying, well, that was certainly easier than last time. I think this one is one of the more funny titles, which you can unlock in Priftness. But one that is actually very funny to get is Demeandering. Ever thought of going AFK while doing a half end course? Well, in this case, you will get a title for it. Just make sure you take 10 minutes to finish a lap and you're done. Now for a more serious one, the famous, in which you have to complete Movran Slayer challenge. This will give you a list of bosses which you will have to kill, which are Araxor, the Giant Mole, Dagonoth Kings, Queen Black Dragon, Commander Zuliana, Kriara, Guild Tutsaroth, General Grador, Kelfight Queen and the King Black Dragon. Every time you kill one, you will get a Dark Crystal, which will have to keep with you. And this Dark Crystal will give you debuffs. And after you kill the last one, you will actually get the title. I think this title is the favorite one for me. The next one is the Statues Q, which actually winks towards status quo, I suppose. For which you will have to complete the replica of the Statue of Rhiannon in the Max Guild. This is of course a very difficult task because you have to finish the gold statue quite a few times for this. Up next I have four different kind of titles which is the Abyssal, the Dark, the Beast and Slayer Master. Which you will get by completing at least 20 waves on either bronze, silver, gold or platinum difficulty of the Brush of Blood. This is actually quite a difficult task to do because I still struggle at bronze but then again I'm not that good at all. <laughs> Up next a really random one, which is the Troublesome. You will have to equip a crease cape while having 3 cooking apples and 3 chocolate bars in your inventory. At this point you can actually pick up the Memorium Crystal which is near the bank chest in Mylir Clan. Whenever you use this Memorium Crystal on the Memorium device in the Tower of Voices, Matsara will pop up and say that that wasn't supposed to happen and the Memorium Crystal is destroyed. You however will have unlocked the Troublesome title. And after this one of course we will have to go on with another random one, which is the Coden Sworn. Equip yourself with full split bark, a tribal mask, a split bark wand and a split bark shield. Slap on your clan crease cape and cast either cure plant or fertile soil on Coden. <laughs> Try to say that 10 times in a row. Now don't think you're done with the randomness. Here comes another list of equipment. You will need full Larupia, a hunter's crossbow, long cabot bolts, a strong rabbit foot and have a teasing stick in your inventory. You will need this in your inventory because you have to click it to use it on different kind of stuff in the world. Head towards the southern entrance of Priftiness to find the initial tracks you will need to start. And then there are a few steps which you will have to follow, which you can find on the wiki. I'm not gonna state it all here, I'm just gonna post a link in it in the description down below. At the end you will find Bunny Maddock, which you can speak to, well at least you can investigate it, and then you will get your title. And we are still not done, we also have the Sword Artist. For this you will need to equip a black longsword and an offhand adamant longsword. You will have to be a male character, get yourself a black Evan style hairstyle, be sure to remove any type of override from your head. Jump on one of the Heffin Serenity posts and do the following order of emotes. Lotus, Bow, Ward and Crane. If you have completed all these tasks, you will receive the title Sword Artist. Now let's just get one tiny little bit more crazy, shall we? Get yourselves a mime outfit and a fairy banner. Get 50 bananas and, well, eat them. Right after about 25 bananas, you will start thinking if you're doing everything right. At banana number 45 you will start to doubt your sanity and at banana number 50 you will finally get your title. And this title is The Challenged. And I think this is directed to your mental state. And next up is the title Sweet Tooth, which you will need to get 10 different types of sweet food. These sweet items are a chocolate cake, a chocolate bar, chuck chip crunchies, a chocolate bomb, chuck ice, cake, a summer pie, a red berry pie, an apple pie and a fruit beta. And for the guys who want to stay at Grand Exchange, pre-made gnome dishes do not work. Simply eat every single one of these and you will get the sweet tooth title. Now for a title which will take a bit longer, which is the Master Fisherman or Master Fishing Woman, for which you will have to get 1500 Crystal Utrin points, which you can exchange for this title in the Priftiness Waterfalls Fishing Shop. 
Now there are three more which are kind of difficult to show, which is Sneaky, for which you have to pickpocket a worker from each of the clans while wearing the clan Iworth cape and have a ninja impling jar in your inventory. A quick side note is that you have to do this all in 90 seconds, which means you cannot complete it without using the crystal teleport seeds. And even then it's quite challenging. Then there is the title The Raven Sworn, in which you have to spot all 13 ravens in Priftinus. If you have not seen any of these ravens, well that might be the case because they appear every 13 days for 23 hours. So these ravens appear every 13 days and the next spawn will be the September 5th in 2016. So that is why unfortunately I'm not able to show you any of these. And then for the final one, which is Lorehound, you will have to collect all 16 numbered memoriam crystals, all memoriam crystals on Frenis K, and all pages of the Voice of the Elders, and complete all quests. If the title after that still doesn't unlock, you will have to try and reset Dimension of Disaster and complete one of the subquests again. This is such an insane amount of requirements for this title that I really applaud you if you got it. And I think that should wrap it all up. Are you missing a title? Then let me know, but I don't think you will be missing one. And if it helped, just let me know as well. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Ciao!